In this lesson we're going to register lots of different key combinations that are going to speed up our process of working with integrated VS Code terminal. And the first keyboard shortcut will be used to open up panel with the terminal. I'm going to use command T. The name of the command in this case will be toggle maximized panel. And by the way, this command is not specifically intended to open terminal. Basically, it is going to expand already open panel. So now, if we're gonna use default keyboard shortcut, which is control backtick to open up terminal, as we can see, this terminal doesn't cover the full size of the VS Code. But I prefer working with the terminal in the full screen mode, so I'm going to press Command T, and this way, when pressing Command T, we'll be able to make open panel full screen or normal size. And just to be able to easily close terminal, I prefer using escape for such cases. So let's register another keyboard shortcut, which will be simply just escape key, and the common name will be toggle terminal. And as an additional condition, we need to ensure that terminal currently has focus in order for escape to close the terminal. So I'm gonna open up terminal by pressing Command T, and now if I need to close it, I just need to press Escape, like so. Moving on, and the next keyboard shortcut will be Command N. This shortcut will be used to create new terminal tabs. I'm gonna use Terminal New command, and the additional condition will be the same. The terminal should be focused in order to create new tabs. So first of all, we have to press Command T to open up the terminal, and if then we need to create additional tabs, we just need to press Command N. The next keyboard shortcut will be an opposite one to the previous one, which is closing terminal tabs. I'm going to use Control W. Let's specify common name terminal dot kill, and try it out. Firstly, I'm gonna open up terminal again by pressing Command T, and then if I'll press Ctrl W, I'll be closing active terminal tabs until all of them are closed. Let's move on, and to be able to easily switch between opened terminal tabs, I prefer using keyboard shortcuts, first of which will be Command K to focus the next terminal tab. And to focus the previous tab, I'm going to use command L. So to demonstrate this behavior, I'll have to open up terminal and create a couple of tabs. I'm using previously registered keyboard shortcut to create new tab, which is command N. And now to be able to move next between open terminal tabs, I'm using command K. And to move backward, I'm using command L. Also, I often have to clear current terminal tab, so I'm using keyboard shortcut to do it quickly. Let's register the following keyboard shortcut, Alt, K, and bind it to the command terminal clear. So now, if I'll open up the terminal, add some output in this terminal tab, and then if I'll have to clear all the output in this tab, I'm gonna press Alt, K. Also, VS Code provides us with an option to work with a couple of terminal tabs simultaneously. In other words, we can create terminal splits. For example, let's register keyboard shortcut Ctrl N to create new split in the active terminal tab. And now, if I'll open up the terminal and press Ctrl N, as we can see, the new split will be created on the right. So if I'll press Ctrl N many times, I'll be able to create as many splits as I like. And then to close all of those splits, I can use Ctrl W. This is the keyboard shortcut registered previously. Let's clear out the current terminal tab by pressing Alt K and move on. The next keyboard shortcut is going to be used to focus terminal. I'm using Command plus H. The common name will be terminal.focus, and in order for this keyboard shortcut to work, we have to ensure that the terminal currently 
is opened and it's not yet focused. So let's reproduce this scenario. Firstly, I'll open up the terminal by pressing Command T. And then let's open up sidebar by pressing Command E. So terminal has lost focus, but if I need to move the focus back to the terminal, I'll just have to press Command H. And then I can continue working with the terminal. And just like we can navigate between multiple terminal tabs, we can also navigate between multiple terminal panes. For this, I'm going to register the following keyboard shortcut control semicolon. This shortcut will be used to navigate to the next pane. So let's specify the common name focus next pane. Actually, this should be control semicolon instead of command. So once again, let's open up terminal and create several panes by pressing Ctrl N. And then to navigate between these panes, I'll have to use Ctrl semicolon. Like this. As we can see, cursor is jumping between these panes. And as a reminder, to close these panes, I'll press Ctrl W. And to clear out current terminal tab, I'll press Alt K. Let's move on. The next set of keyboard shortcuts will be used to switch between opened terminal tabs. And all these shortcuts will be pretty similar. For example, to focus the first tab, we can press Ctrl 1. To focus on the second tab, we can press Ctrl 2, and so on. For now, let's just register three such keyboard shortcuts up until Ctrl 3 and try it out. I'm going to open up the terminal with a couple of tabs. And as we can see, if I'll be pressing Ctrl 1, 2 or 3, we'll be switching between opened terminal tabs. So now let's go back to the keyboard shortcut configuration file. And I'm going to duplicate this keyboard shortcut and create similar keyboard shortcuts up until 9. So basically it is going to say Ctrl 1, Ctrl 2, Ctrl 3, all the way up to Ctrl 9. And for all those keyboard shortcuts, we are also specifying additional condition, which will ensure that terminal has to be opened and focused in order for those shortcuts to work. So in this lesson we have defined several keyboard shortcuts to speed up our work with integrated VS Code terminal. The link to the repository with this configuration file, as always, will be in the video description.